<laughs> Bastard attempt. Not really. I'm gonna keep trying. Hooray! What? Right. So what I did was I renamed the video file so it didn't play. So, right, Blackthorn. What a bastard, he's back. So, we have been transported to Stonegate, which if you remember was... Uh, the Guardian obviously knows you are here, Avatar. You will not be safe here at Stonegate for long. Unlike on Earth, you are now vulnerable. There is also a chest of equipment in the corner of this room sent for you by the gypsy. Okay. Ah, so you don't have a pep doll, you just literally drag it straight off your character. Oh! I had a bag and everything, it took that off me. Ah, Trinzic. Well, that's fucking changed. Who's it was Trinzic water? Okay, so I've lost all my arrows, all my gold. This place is just a nightmare. Like, Kleptomaniacs Anonymous. Moon gates just steal all your equipment. Okay, so... Potion bag. We'll get another bag for those. And we'll have a quest bag at some point. What have we got here? Uh, lantern. Ooh, where are you going? Handy guy books potions. So black still invisibility. Blue mana breath. So oh, nice. Green poison. Orange mana boost, purple temporary invulnerability. Oh, it's not just protection, it's actually invulnerability. Red is cure poison, white infernal armor, yellow is healing. Okay. Slight changes then. Damaging armor, when fighting its problems, remember two things. Weapons will obviously do damage, but armor will always absorb damage. You only inflict damage if your weapon does more damage than your opponent's armor absorbs. Many beasts have natural armor, so you'll need strong weapon to damage more powerful creatures. Watch the meters at the top of your screen, see your weapon and armor rating the bar on the right show your comparative rating of your weapon compared to other weapons. Remember though that it's only a general rating, different weapons have different effects against various types of creatures. Bar on the left will show you your armor. This will give you a general idea of effect of your armor. There are either some magical armor pieces may not absorb as much damage as the sturdier garb, but may have other important benefits. Each weapon has special attacks, which also give you different results against different creatures. Britannia boasts many skilled fighters will be able to train you in these new techniques. Okay. to the avatar. What a better way to pass time. Rest. Good night's sleep. Ooh, is that a, a, a hint? Spells for the beginner. So, I got myself a chain coif, although I can't appear to look at my own head for some reason. Oh, there we go. So, I don't know who's living in Stonegate now because um, it used to be the, um, the Cyclops, didn't it? Before them, it was the Shadow Lords, so God knows who lives here now. Ooh. Ah, the Black Sword. Press S to access your spell book. 
You will need to cast Ignite on the torch at the end of the hall to remove ha, the force nice. that blocks Calibre. your way. Linear spells. Ignite. To cast Ignite from your spellbook, click on the yeah, Ignite it. spell icon. After the book closes, position the blue reticle over the unlit torch. Wait. Click to magically ignite. Spell icons may also be dragged into your tool belt. Wow. Just like items. Well, Brace got old. Perhaps you have a spell that might be able to dispatch the vermin that guards the switch. Try the stone spell on the rat. You can drag these into here if you can. Alright, so the number keys do your spell circles. F keys do. Not giving me an indication of what they are. I'm getting like a pop up. Right, where's my armor level? So they actually do exactly the same. I need to keep my avatar armor. Just because. Gold, broken loot. I probably could have figured that out, but thanks. I'm guessing fall damage still exists. What the hell? That potion. Another poison. Perhaps a card, probably broken. Or not. Pressure plate below that vase. See if you can use your gust spell to move the vase off the shelf. Not what I meant. Gust. You can try this now by casting your gust spell on the item that you wish the wind gust to affect. Nice. Saved it for a while, so to get to actually save. Yes. Lifts must have been installed by. I don't know, who? Shadow Lords, somebody, I don't know. Ah, nice. He doesn't actually have to climb, he'll, he'll just step. That's quite cool. What's this? Yeah. 
Towers protect from unlawful entry by flame. To exit, clear the way of the source. It just seems to blaze you. Okay. Roll book. Douse. Guessing. Crashing. Oh. I have taught you all that I can, Avatar, but you still have much to learn. Once you step outside these doors, your enemies will be numerous. Nearby, there is a cave. Within it lies the means to reach Britain. Where you may seek out the wise Lord British. The wise Lord. Fare thee well, my friend. Wow. Big fish. Shadow Lords. Would you kill that? Ah, there's a breath bar. Well, actually, let me do anything. Because I'm in combat mode. Okay, nothing else in here. Okay, so there's a cave somewhere that I need to go to. First. I shall. Dagger's not very good. Do you know, I don't think you could actually live here with that all going on all, all the time. Stab the wolf in the face a few times. Each one's a symbol of the virtues, and each one is disappearing. Okay, you seem to be doing a lot more damage to me than I am to you. I 
Look at him. Yeah, screw it. Ah. I will kill you. Ha. Got you in the end. So all the sigils have gone. There they are. Oh, there they are. Sigil runes. Oh, well, they could be the runes, couldn't they? Hello. You look like one of the dragon dudes. Is it Worm Guard? You've come at last. You're too late, Avatar. Britannia is ours. My master will be most pleased with me when I bring you to him. Who are you? I am Kalando of the Worm Guard. Kalando. And I'm going to use your capture to gain rank in the Guard. Who is your master? His name is Lord Blackthorn. Don't worry. You'll be meeting him soon enough. Hey. Oh, fuck. Come on, then. Oh, I'm glad I saved it, because I really should have used a potion. Oh, Columbo. Jesus. I ain't got no reagent, so I can't cast any spells. That was gusting. <laughs> Bit of gust ball. Oh, well. It's the end of you, then, isn't it? So, what is that? Significantly better than a crappy dagger. Right. Again, I believe there is a cutscene. So I need to uh, save. I'll keep... Uh, I'll keep a save called cutscene, which I'll just overwrite each time, I think. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Okay, we appear to be in Britain as suggested. So, you have arrived at last. My name is Hinnington. I'm Lord British's Seneschal. I run his daily affairs. He has been expecting you for quite some time. You should go find him right away. He needs to talk to you. It's very important. May I ask you some questions? Certainly not. You need to talk to Lord British. It's very important. Now go. What's with the fit? Mm. Oh, hello. You're the Avatar, aren't you? We've all been looking for you. Lord British has been most upset, so you'd better find him. But do take some food with you. You'll need to keep your strength up. Keep my strength up? Oh, yes. Food will help keep you strong and make you heal faster, you know. We can't have you going weak from hunger. What's wrong with Lord British? The secret oh, bell, there. it's been horrible here in Britain. The people are all mean to one another and no one cares. Lord British wants to make things right, but he doesn't know how. Thank you. Farewell. What the? Cutting out. Oh, 
Are they either explosive barrels or alcohol barrels? Fish I found in a box, why not? They don't seem to do Okay, so apparently just like a food storeroom would just go behind a secret door. Sword. Hello, my name's Olsen. I can't tell you what an honor it is to meet you, sir. I've heard about you all my life, but I never thought that I'd get to meet you. Mm. You know, I'm a fighter myself. Maybe someday I'll be as good as you are. Probably not. So you're a fighter, eh? Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. I go out to the East Guardhouse and train every chance I get. Also, Keller has been training me. What's your favorite weapon style? Well, sword and shield, mostly. But it depends on what I'm fighting, you know? For instance, a staff is much better against a skeleton. But I prefer a sword when fighting another person. Now, when fighting a goblin, I like a battle axe because of the sheer damage it does. Well, you know, different moves and weapons for different opponents. Goodbye, Olsen. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Avatar. I must say, your stash is awesome. What brings you into the weapons house? Well, man at arms. I'm the Avatar, and I've come to arm myself. So you are. Lord British sent word that you are here and said that you're welcome to whatever you want. Say, I don't want to speak out of turn, you being the Avatar and all, but would you like a few tips on fighting and training? You know, just to sharpen your skills. Yeah, I'd like to hear some tips. All right, then. Would you like to hear about training, weapons, or armor? Mm -hmm. Tell me about training. It's very important that you seek out as many trainers as you can. Various trainers can teach you various styles of fighting. The more styles that you learn, the better off you'll be. Just remember, there's always someone better out there. Now, I'm a master swordsman and can train you a bit if you'd like. The cost is 300 gold pieces. <laughs> uh... What about armor? What about armor? <laughs> There's a wide variety of armor that you can get. Everything from leather to plate. The leather armor is probably the weakest. From there you've got bone, chain mail, and then of course, plate. A full harness of plate is the best protection that you can get. Unless you find some magic stuff. But it's expensive. Magic stuff. What kind of magic armor is that? Well sometimes you can find some armor that has been magically enhanced. I've also heard of a fellow down in Trinzic that can make armor out of black rock. If that's true, it's probably even better than plate. I want to hear about weapons. Oh, there are all manner of weapons out there. Some people like mass weapons, maces and things like that. Others prefer ranged weapons, you know, longbows and warbows. Personally, I like swords. There are a variety of sword types out there, but I prefer the plain old broadsword. I also advise that you pick up a bow of some sort. You might start with a novice bow or a long bow. Sometimes your enemy won't be at close range, and you need a projectile weapon. Okay. Well, I've got, I've to, go. got to go. Goodbye. All right then. Goodbye. Spotted another secret door here. Another box of fish, I won't be happy.
that's it. A bit of gold in the bed.